What's up YouTube? This is Shaylin from 8-Bit Co-op and we are back on day three. I'm getting ready to go uh, scavenge. What happened during our last episode is we sent Marco to help people in a collapsed building. Everybody has approved, however, that put us kind of in a bind for the night. Okay, because we are one man down, and we have to go find stuff for a bed. We need to make another bed. For some reason, I guess three grown men have a problem sleeping in one bed. So, um, Shelled Cottage has been good to us so far, and we need the materials. So, I think that that's what I'm definitely going to look at. Um, going back in. So Pavel is going to be our scavenger for tonight. I tell you, it makes me mad nervous going out there. Um, uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to leave the lock pick at home. I am going to take the crowbar and hopefully we'll be able to get that door open that's up top. Hopefully, it'd be nice if we could pull the dead guy in, but, you know, we'll see what we can do when we get there. Okay, so night three, and he's seeing the dead body for the first time, and it's funny that they don't even flinch. It's like they just creep up, like, hey, how's it going? How's it hanging? <laughs> okay, he doesn't see anything. Hopefully it's still empty. Oh, and there's something up there. Looks like it could potentially be the mouse. I know we left some components back here. Let's see what we left. Okay, sugar. Yeah, no. We don't need sugar right now. We need bed-making stuff. You know what? I'm going to go up. I'm not going to go down. Well, yeah. Let me go up again. Oh, good. That was just the mouse. Okay. And you know what's funny? Is this door is locked, and he was able to scurry right through the door. Lots of wood. Lots of parts, components. Okay, so... Let's look, see. I don't see anybody, so I am going to go ahead and try to break open this door. But look at the sound waves from breaking open a door. That is mad loud. You can see them, they ricochet off the screen and everything. Well, you know, at that point, you might as well just go ahead and go in. One of the flyers dropped on the city. It reads, This is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For, for your own and your family's safety, leave Pogaran immediately. The army guarantees you safe passage. Not many believe them after the atro atrocities they had committed. You know, that's a common practice in wartime. It's just to drop the flyers. But they're pretty much good for, oh, well, we'll say toilet paper. Um, we need a lot of wood. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see what's over here. I like that. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh... Crap, decision time again. Because if we take these two, which I'm going to, then that would take me... That'll be enough for my knife, because it takes three of them. And take some coffee, because I think that they're a little bit under the weather. Um, and I think that would help. Having some coffee would definitely cheer them up. So, the bad thing is, is he can only carry 
what, 12 things? So this is not going to be as lucrative of an evening as others have been. But we do know that we have a potential for a weapon, which is always helpful, especially when we're going to be branching out to other areas. Oh, okay, night three. Pavel is back. Oh, pray for a quiet night. Pray for a quiet night. Day four. Okay. It looks like Marco is back, which is just phenomenal. Pablo had been certain and brought some in. Marco returned after helping pulling, help pull some, some people buried under that collapsed apartment building. Pavel does look exhausted. It is definitely his turn in the rack. Um, if a shell hit our shelter... Okay. Oh, there it is. All this shelling, sniper fire, and lack of supplies makes you want to hide away, sit down, and cry. We cannot let them crush our spirit. We have to show them that they can't take our way, our dignity. It's difficult here, but you know how we did it, and did it on our street. Okay, so there's Marco, who's also very tired. And Bruno. So all of our peeps are really tired. It's going to be definitely time for baking another bed. And deciding where to put it. Does that mean he's dreaming of food or that he wants food? Let's put these near each other, almost dormitory style. And then Marco. is going to be able to go and hopefully we have the components after making the bed to make a weapon but I just felt the bed was too important so and it takes a half an hour to make I'm going to have him make that um, Bruno I'm going to see what else Bruno can make because Pavel's resting, Marco is going to be resting, and looks like nothing. We need a heater. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Get a moonshine still and a. Wow. So, okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and have Marco sleep. Oh, he's happy now because he has cigarettes. Oh, someone is beating at the door again. Oh, that's the traitor. And if I... Hmm, let's see what we have to trade. Let's see what he has to trade first. Ah, wow. Cigarettes, coffee, bullets. Okay, so he has a lot. What can we trade? Oh. Well, we don't have a bullet, so... Gunpowder isn't going to be helpful for us. Well, we don't have a gun either, I guess. <laughs> so, any either way. Um, what is this? Pure alcohol. Mm, yeah, no. No. I think the... Uh, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like we're going to be getting a lot. Okay, so I put it there. Oh, okay. 
Will I get some wood for it? Oh, you only get one piece of wood for three of those? What about wood and a component? Yeah, I figured I was pushing my luck, but you know, I just had to try. So it looks like it's just going to be one piece of wood. However, it's more than what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and close the door on him. Yeah, we'll talk with you in a minute. I'm going to see if Bruno can't come down here and open this door, shovel this out and see what's in these other areas and see if we can't find something to trade to him. You know, it would be really interesting where bartering is the way to go. But it's funny. Oh wait, Pavel needs to go back to bed. I accidentally woke Pavel up. But people think that water's, ex water's not expensive now. I've heard the phrase free water a lot. Well, you know, water is one of the most expensive components if you take a bottle of Aquafina. So... Okay, let's see what's in this cabinet. Oh, there are no sound waves when you're opening your own stuff. That's kind of nifty. Another lockpick and books. See, this is all stuff that we need. Uh, let's see what other... Oh, this one can be... Or did we... I hate to do this, but I think that tonight Bruno's gonna have to be sleepy. You know, this guy's really interesting looking with his Where's Waldo shirt. You know, the the prison stripes on there. I wonder if they symbolize anything. I'm just curious. You know, curiouser and curiouser. Because if you look, he's got the backpack, he's shifty. I was going to do this one, but then I'd have to get through here. And we're running short on time for the day. And I just don't know when the trader's going to be back. So I want to catch him if I can. If I find something good. Oh, yes. Grab all. Exit. Let's go talk to this guy. Let's go trade with him. Because hopefully people still have their crooked philosophy on life and they want jewelry. Let's talk with him. Let's real quick see how they are. Oh, they're at least now tired, not very tired. Okay, so show us what you wish to trade. Okay, so where is. Oh, wait, derp. Sorry. Okay. Um. Let's start with the basic necessities. Jewelry is not worth two food. Okay. Can I throw a lockpick on there? No. How about some wood? So jewelry is only worth like one food. Well, you know, let me see. Yeah, that's it. It's because it's food. Okay, so I can get six wood for the one jewelry. Can I get any components? Squeeze components in there? I can squeeze one component in there, though. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make this deal. And I'm gonna shut the door on him. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is 
go ahead and take Marco out. I'm going to have him sleep in the bed, and then I'm going to have Pavel guard. Um, that shelled cottage still has a lot of stuff, but I'm really concerned about going back again. I think I'm going to venture to the decrepit squat. just to see if there's any food or anything there that I can use. Where's my weapon? I'm definitely taking my knife. I'll take my knife. My knife and a crowbar for today. For this night. Going to a new place has always got to be unnerving. Okay, so let's go on to the porch. Okay, I'm gonna grab all for now. Um, you can kind of see through. Oh Lord, I didn't know when you came down. What's that symbol? That's a new symbol for me. What's that mean? Oh, you can hide in there. Oh. That's nice. Okay, I see it's a person. Hiding behind a door frame. Oh, wow. Take. Okay. I like how you can see up. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take more wood this time. I think that we have... You know what? If I have a... I need a whole stack if I'm carrying anything. It almost makes me nervous going up here. I mean, it didn't say caution, but that doesn't mean that caution shouldn't be taken. If I had a penny for every time I was supposed, or I nobody told me to take caution and I should have, oh, I'd be rich by now. I'm taking sugar this time because I think that I'm going to be making a still here soon. Oh. Yeah, that makes me mad nervous. I'm not going to go mess with her. I'm going to go ahead and head out. My bags are full. I don't know if that's the right decision. I mean, what if she's hurt or she needs help or... I don't know. Anyway, that just... I mean, it's those kind of decisions where you don't know what what to do. Um, I would want someone to come help me. So, okay, so we're going in the next day, uh, day five, and I'm going to go ahead and end it here for today. A, a, please like, subscribe uh, if you want to see more. Thank you. Oh, we've been raided. Someone said they were just a couple of scavengers, so they didn't do much harm. We had some weapons, but not enough for any. Bruno was wounded. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to come back to. And that's not what I wanted to leave it at. But I guess such is war. So thank you, and um, I'll see you next time.